Okay, first graders, we are going to try another type of graphic organizer today. Um, this one is found, there's a copy of this found in your ELA packet. It's kind of in the middle. We kind of made a mistake on the ELA packet this week. So sorry about that, but it's kind of in the middle. It looks like this, okay? So that is the graphic organizer we are going to use. Let me switch over. Um, and you can see that instead of having the main idea or the topic in the middle of the page, it's here at the top. And our topic today is George Washington. Okay. How many of you that name sounds familiar to? Okay. If that sounds familiar to you, good. He was our first president. Um, so he's a very important guy when we're talking about the history of the United States of America. He was born in the 1700s, um, and that's when he was the president, was in the 1700s, so a long time ago, um, more than 200 years ago, he was our president. Okay, so um, we are going to learn a little bit about him today. Um, he and Abraham Lincoln, who's another famous president. Um, were both born in February. They both had February birthdays. And so we talk about them a lot when we are um, in the month of February. Okay, so they are going to be our focus of the different scholastic news that you have showing up. So we're going to look at George Washington. And we're going to look at the some details that we can learn about him. Okay, so on today's page, when we get to this writing section, um, where you are right now, um, you have your video over here that you're watching, and you can see we have a link to a scholastic news called Our First President. Okay, so right there, we're learning a pretty important detail about George Washington, and I mentioned it before. He was our first president. So I'm actually going to put that as one of the details, okay? And I'm going to think about it as a sentence. So I'm going to think, George Washington was our first president. Okay, now because it's not all hooked together like a sentence, I'm not going to put a period here, but I'm just completing the thought. George Washington was our first president. That is a fact we have learned about him. What I want you to do now is explore the scholastic news a bit um, and see what other facts stand out. So if you click on it, it will take you to um, the issue. Remember, if it asks you to log in, um, this is an old one, so you do not have this one in your packet. Um, and if it asks you to log in, if you're in Ms. Turner's class, you'll use J Turner 30. If you're in Ms. McKee's class, you'll use L McKee 11. Okay, um, but in here we can listen and read the Scholastic News and learn about President George Washington. Um, and then there's always other activities built in here as well. So let's go ahead and open that up. And again, because it's um, an old one. We don't have a hard copy of it. Okay, you have an on-level option or easier level. I'm going to go to the on-level. Both of those are going to have facts in them. Let's see if this will cooperate and open up for us. Okay, so we are going to read about George Washington, and when there is a fact that stands out to you, it is interesting, you can write it down. We need two more details about him. Um, and I'm going to be writing things down as well. Hopefully this will open up. Okay, so like we said, um, George Washington was our first president. And down here it says, George Washington was our first president. He lived long ago. Life was different in his time. Look for some things in this picture that
that are different from things today. Okay, so what are some things you're seeing in this picture that are different from what you know? Notice he has a candle on his desk um, because they had to use candles for their light. He has one on the wall as well. He's holding a feather pen. Um, look at the hat sitting on top of these books. In the background, um, out the window, we can see a carriage being drawn by horses. Okay, so some different things we can see right away that were different than now. Um, and you can always click up here at the top where it says read aloud um, to have it read to you. Okay, let's go to the next page. Long ago in George's time, George Washington lived more than 200 years ago. Life was very different back then. And remember, you can also tell it to read aloud. How did he get around? This is the blue section. In George's time, there were no cars. There were no trains. There were no airplanes. George had to go places. George had to go places. He wanted to visit many parts of the country and meet people. He rode horses. He also rode in a carriage pulled by horses. Okay, so we might have learned something there. What did he wear? Up at the top, we have a caption for the picture. Here is a coat that George wore, and that is his wife's real dress. What did he wear? In George's time, people did not wear t-shirts or jeans. Women did not wear pants. George was the leader of our country. He needed to dress nicely. He wore suits. Sometimes he would wear a tricorn hat too. This is a tricorn hat. And these words that are in yellow are vocabulary words that you can look up. You can click on and it will give you more information. How did he communicate with the American people? In George's time, there were no phones. There was no TV. There was no internet. George spoke to the American people. He gave speeches in front of crowds. Some people come to listen to him. Others would read the speech later in a newspaper. Okay, so again, I hope you're writing down some of these details you're learning about George Washington. Okay. And then we have the orange section. Let's look at the caption at the top. This is where George first lived when he was president. It was in New York City. Where did he live? In George's time, there was no White House. That's where presidents live today. The White House was not built yet. George moved three times when he was president. He lived in three different homes. None of them were as grand as the White House. Then if we turn the page again, there would be a little activity you could do as well. Okay, this, is, this one is about Abraham Lincoln. Remember, he's the other president who has his birthday, um, who we recognize his birthday in February. Okay, but we are going to now look and see what I came up with. Okay, so here is my graphic organizer um, where I wrote down things that I found interesting while I was reading. So notice the way I wrote it would complete a sentence if it was all put together. So I have George Washington was our first president. We did that one together. George Washington wore suits and a tricorn hat. George Washington gave many speeches. Now, you may have decided to write down other um, important details that you found interesting, 
and that is just fine. Your details do not have to match my details, okay? Um, but you do want to write the detail as though it will finish the sentence if we started with George Washington. So George Washington wore suits and a tricorn hat. See how if I put that all together, it would be a complete sentence. Okay, so we want the words in the box that would help turn it into a complete sentence. Okay, that will help you later on. Okay, so that is all we're gonna do um, for our writing today. So I hope that you got some good ideas um, and that you will be ready to put them into a paragraph tomorrow. Happy learning.